So recently I have posted this artwork on Facebook groups and I got this question a lot how I added these clouds to my scene and in this video I will explain it and show you how easy and simple it is. So the steps on this video is very simple. We are just going to get a stock images of clouds and we are going to add to our scene and then we are going to fix the values and the colors. Hello guys, my name is Nauri Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. If you are new here, welcome. We are not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out three videos every week. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. Let's roll the video. Enjoy. Okay guys, so here we have the artwork that I'm going to add the clouds to. And before we start, I just want to give a shout out to Connor Cross because I got this idea from him. It's a... Uh, it's literally a copy uh, from his work. If you want to see his original work, make sure to follow him on our station or on Twitter. Okay. So without any further ado, I'm going to teach you how I added these clouds, as you can see on the scene. And if you remember my last uh, cloud tutorial I did on this channel, uh, I teach you guys how to make clouds brush and use it as a brush. But today I'm going to show you how to add a uh, stock image of a cloud and uh, blend it with uh, the rest of the scene okay so here we have a stock images of clouds as you can see it's different okay uh, i'm going to be uh, providing the uh, links on the description if i can and here we have uh, different uh, clouds as you can see this one is different from the others and I'm going to show you how to cut these clouds and add it to your work and blend it with the scene okay so let's start with this one uh, go to the uh, magic wand tool as th this one right here the sample size in uh, 100 by 100 average and the tolerance uh, depending on the, uh, the stock images if you have a stock images of clouds like white clouds and a clean uh, blue background as in this uh, case you might want to make it uh, 30 for example and just click on the clouds just like that and shift till you see the plus signs because I want to add a selection but if you can see here at the bottom is not it's not selecting the clouds uh, fully so i'm going to uh, increase my tolerance to 50. okay and let's see not yet maybe uh, 70 and yeah 70 is uh, working good and let's start selecting the other uh, clouds and then go to this uh, lasso tool and select the select and mask click on it and uh, increase the radius to the max just like that and as you can see here we got the uh, edges of the clouds maybe want to add some contrast so we can get rid of this uh, white area right there but not too much just like that click ok Control c to copy it and let's go back to the work and let me go right here uh, behind this work right here and i'm going to click Control v to uh, paste it and as you can see, we have now this uh, cloud. Okay, so let me just decrease the uh, scale of the uh, of the cloud. Okay. After that, I'm going to uh, decrease the uh, saturation because you can see the uh, blue edges on the uh, cloud. This uh, blue strokes. So I'm going to click on Control U. This is the uh, shortcut for uh, for uh, hue and saturation, and I'm going to decrease the saturation all the way down to minus 100 okay now we have this cloud and I want to make it blue and uh, blend it with the rest of the scene so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top and I'm going to decrease the saturation all the way down so I can see the image in black and white uh, vision or uh, so I can see uh, the image uh, in black and white, okay? And I'm going back to my cloud and I'm gonna add 
a curves adjustment layer you can add levels you can add exposure it's up to you i'm going to use the levels and i'm going to decrease the uh, highlights just a bit and then i'm going to decrease the midtones till i see the uh, clouds is blending with the rest of the scene maybe not the uh, midtones let's just decrease the uh, highlights and then just a bit of the midtones and after that i'm going to add another curves adjustment layer and this time i'm going to uh, increase the uh, the shadows let's go back to the first curves layer and let's make it darker and again let's make it let's add some fade right here and it looks like it's blending now let's see let's go back and i'm going to uh, hide the hue and saturation adjustment layer and i'm gonna go back to my cloud and i'm gonna add a color balance adjustment layer i want to give you this tip right here go to uh, view uh, so you go to the window and click on the navigator okay and this uh, navigate this navigator will show like that and I recommend uh, drag it to this area right here and what navigator is going to do is it's going to give us a, uh, a scale down uh, preview of our uh, scene right here as you can see in smaller size so we can see the uh, values and the colors even better okay and using the navigator I'm going to change the color of this cloud and First, I'm going to uh, change the blending mode of the color balance to color and then I'm going to add the blue color and right now and I'm looking at the navigator and then I'm going to add cyan till you see in the navigator that it's blending with the rest of the colors of the scene. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while maybe let's fix the values let's go back to the uh, hue and saturation and let's uh, show it and I'm gonna go back to the first ad curves adjustment layer and I'm going to fix the values even more okay this is enough and i'm gonna go back to the curves uh sorry the color balance and i'm gonna make it blend in blend, blend even more let's see okay so now it's blending as you can see between this cloud and this one right here now it's blending right here but in the here it doesn't look right because we didn't add the uh, highlights of the cloud and to add the highlights of the cloud we just uh, gonna select all these layers right there and I'm gonna click and hold alt and bring it up just just uh, above the uh, cloud uh, layer and click on Control e to merge it after that I'm going to change the blending mode to screen and I'm going to hide it and I'm going to paint with a soft brush and uh one percent uh, flow on these areas right here and just like that we fixed this area you can change the uh, colors using a color balance adjustment layer set to color blender mode if you don't like the uh, colors of the highlights and just like that we we are finished uh before that, uh, let me just add a new empty layer and I'm going to fill it with black and then I'm going to filter, noise, add noise and click. Uh, make sure the amount is on 400 and click OK and then go to filter, blur and click on blur and then go to filter, blur again and then click on blur more 
and then go to the opacity and make it around 5 to 3 percent and change the blender mode to screen just to give it this greeny look uh, to make it uh, look realistic okay so this is about this cloud let's just hide this ones and i'm going to the uh, okay so th this is pretty much the same uh, things let me just use it for this one right here okay let's select the magic one tool and Right here, if I click, it's going to select all the images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the uh, tolerance to around, uh, let's say seven. And let's click on the uh, clouds. And it's a decent selection. Let's go to the lasso tool and click on select and mask. Add the radius. And let's see if the selection is good or not. Click on control C to copy it and then Let's go back to our image and control V. Sorry, this is the wrong one. Control C and then control V. Okay. I would say it's a decent uh, selection, a decent cut. So after I'm going to judge after we uh, fix the values and the color. But first I'm going to make it appear uh, behind this furnace or this uh building right there on the corner just like that and i'm going to click on ctrl u and decrease the saturation all the way down and i'm going to add a curves adjustment layer this is for the uh, values and let's show the hue and saturation adjustment layer and i'm going to show the navigator and i'm going to fix the values the, just like that by sliding this uh, cloud this uh, point of the highlights down the uh, values is fixed it was that quick okay so I'm going to add a color balance set to color blender mode and I'm going to change the colors and this is it that was quick and all I have to do now is I'm going to take this uh, noise texture and I'm going to add it to this image and this is how simple it is and if you want to add the highlights just uh, make sure to select them all Control E to uh, merge them and change the blending mode to screen and change the blending mode to screen and then Let's hide it and with a soft brush, a white color and 10% flow, just paint at the top. Just like that. Maybe let's take it from here by changing the color uh, white to black and let's erase from these areas. And this is it guys. This is how you, I added the clouds to my image. I got a lot of questions. Uh, on how I add it and this is how simple it is I hope you learned from this one and I will see you on the next tutorials uh, hopefully I'm going to make a tutorial on the uh, warp tool to show you how I use it personally and I will give you a tips and tricks till the next video if you have learned something from this video please make sure to like and subscribe and support the channel and follow us on our social medias till the next video peace